Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Ballcabbage and I'm the Methylation Doctor. I want to welcome you to my first Methylation Monday video. My goal in the coming weeks and months is to shoot a kind of a rough video like this. There, there's no high production here. It's uh, me in my basement office just kind of going over some of the concepts uh, that I think are important to get across to other docs regarding methylation. If you have any questions or comments, put them below the video. I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible, and hopefully this helps you in your clinical practice. The first thing we want to talk about since methylation has become kind of the darling thing in functional medicine is what, you, what methylation is. So methylation is simply the transfer of a carbon-3 hydrogen unit from one substance to another. And so on the board here, I have our substrate, whatever that is. Here's our methyl group, which has got a carbon and three hydrogens to it. The main methyl donor in the body is called SAMe. And then we have an enzyme and a cofactor that are involved in the transfer of that methyl group from the donor to our substrate to leave us with a methylated substrate. Simply put, that's a methylation reaction. What do the, what's important about these methylation reactions? From a simplicity standpoint, methyl reactions or this methylation process turns on and off enzymes, turns on and off reactions in the body, turns on and off a number of processes that are important for many different aspects of physiology. So methylation is critically important. It, methylation allows us to be human. It allows us to be who we are. It allows us to have either a higher state of health or a lower state of health. You could simply say that almost everybody has a methylation problem to some level and the the healthier we are, the healthier our methylation processes are. The sicker we are, the more compromised our methylation processes are. So what are some of the specific functions that methylation is involved in? Well, it's involved in gene function. It's involved in biotransformation, changing of chemicals. It's involved in neurotransmitter production and degradation. It's involved in hormone detoxification or hormone clearance. It's involved in the immune system function. It plays a role in energy production. It plays a role in the production of the myelin sheath. It plays an important role in cell membrane health. It plays an important role in DNA and histone synthesis and a really important role in detoxification. So methylation is critically important to function of every cell, every tissue in our body. So when and where is methylation occurring? In every cell, every second, there's hundreds of methylation reactions occurring constantly. Who has methylation problems? Every patient that you see in your practice has some level of methylation problems. Uh, the sicker they are, the more compromised their methylation processes are. You are currently, if you're doing functional medicine, you're currently helping people improve their methylation by changing their diet, by improving their gut, by supporting any anemias, by regulating blood sugar, by getting them to improve their sleep and their breathing quality, and improve their physical fitness. You are improving their methylation processes. And I typically tell the people I teach um, that if you just do those basic things, you're going you're gonna to help about 80% of your chronically ill patients improve their health. Unfortunately, uh, there's about 20% that really have more significant methylation problems, gene defects, their medications are really affecting the processes. Uh, and you're going to have to dig in and understand uh, the methylation pathways, we'll say, a little bit better so that you can help some of these patients get better. The longer you're in functional medicine, one of the things you'll start to notice is that you're going to attract sicker and sicker people. Um, they've already been doing all those lifestyle factors that should help them. They've already done gut support protocols and they've already supported anemia patterns and yet they're still really sick. These are the people that you're going to attract the longer you're in functional medicine practice and as you attract more and more of these sick people, You've got to be a bit more on your game as the, the pathways of the body and the, some of the processes like methylation and how they work and will cause them to break down. How does methylation get broken down in the first place? Well, big heading wise, diet and lifestyle, huge factor. Stress is a huge factor. Medications can compromise methylation. Substrate deficiencies due to poor absorption. Uh, micronutrient or cofactor deficiencies polymorphisms and this is the thing that everybody's jumped on is there are polymorphisms or these gene defects like MTHFR that are kind of hot, they're sexy right now, you can get a variant report with everybody's uh, genetic defects on them and then you can a lot of people are providing supplements based on those genetics but the polymorphisms, the, the polymorphisms or these genetic defects aren't really what the cause 
of their dysfunction is. They may contribute to it, but it's these other things that really have a bigger role and play a bigger factor in why your, your chronically ill patients are sick. There can be inflammatory, reactive oxygen species, reactive nitrogen species. These products can inhibit methylation. And lastly, pathogens can really compromise methylin, meth, methylation as well. And there's another other, a number of other factors that can compromise methylation, but I think these are the biggies. So I think you can get a sense of what methylation is and why it's so important and maybe why it's maybe not a bad idea to learn a little bit more about methylation. So I will be doing an uh, and more methylation videos in the coming weeks. If you have any questions regarding this methylation video or any of the future ones, always put it below the video. If you're interested in more information on methylation, you can go to my site, themethylationdoctor.com. I have performed a number of trainings on methylation for doctors, uh, and if you'd like to get quicker access to more information on methylation, you can go to themethylationdoctortutorials.com for videos of my previous uh, seminars and you can you can watch them they're online uh, for a subscription price you can get on there and, and watch those videos and learn a bunch more about methylation so thanks for paying attention leave any comments below and I look forward to helping you in the coming weeks thanks